Hey, Jed here. If you've never seen one of my videos before, then hello. And if you have seen one of my videos before, then welcome back. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about willpower um, and how we can help use that and save it. Because although you don't, re or you may realise it, but willpower is a finite resource. By that I mean we haven't got unlimited amounts of willpower. And you've probably got a friend out there that you go, God, they've just got so much willpower. And then some people just buckle under the slightest bit of, under the slightest choice. And I'm going to use my um, thing about, obviously, diet and exercise. So I had one of my clients return back to me four weeks ago. Um, she'd been, she'd, She'd gone and tried something else and found it not to be as successful as she anticipated. So she came back to see me and I'm welcome back. So since coming back to me four weeks ago, Kathy's lost eight pound, which is fantastic. So in total in the last maybe six months, she's lost once, just over a stone anyway. And she hit a, a marker that she was very pleased with. And we were talking and she said it was so it, I gave her two tips when she returned and she said it was these two tips that made the massive difference to her so the first one is I almost insisted that she starts to write a weekly meal plan and this ties in nicely with me talking about willpower because if you write a weekly meal plan it removes some of the need to make choices about what you're going to eat so even if you've got good food in the fridge, you still have to make the choice about what to eat. But if you've got that planned out, there's a good chance that, well, you don't have to think about it the same. You've already got it sussed. You know you've got the stuff in and it makes life a little bit easier. And it will save some of that willpower for when you need it a bit more. So when somebody offers you, I don't know, that bit of cake that won't do you any harm and you're thinking, God, if I start, I'll, I'll never stop. So, planning everything, and I, I know I go on about planning a lot, but planning your meals will 100% make you less likely to go off track because you're on a plan, you're going to stick to the plan. And it also saves that finite amount of willpower for another time, so you've still got willpower when you need it. And there was something else, and this boils down to some other stuff and it's um the other tip i gave was to keep a mood diary um and this can help you because it'll help you see the things that events in the day events throughout the week and it'll see make you realize what impact that has on your eating especially especially if you're classifying yourself as an emotional eater so if you feel like you you eat under stress, then start to keep a food diary, uh, sorry, a mood and food diary, and this will help you identify those instances where something stresses you out and then you start emotionally eating. And once you start writing it down and you start seeing this pattern forming, you can then work out a week, or well, we, you or I, if you work with me, we can start working out a way of how we can break that emotional eating cycle. So there's my two top tips that helped Kathy lose eight pounds in four weeks, even though she'd already lost quite a bit of weight. And it's taken her to a new milestone in her weight loss journey. So one, plan well. It'll help you save some of that very important willpower that you need. And number two, if you classify yourself as an emotional eater, try and keep a mood diary and see which events throughout the day, the week, cause you to emotionally eat. And then we can work out a strategy to change your behaviour because it's just a habit you've built to emotionally eat. We figure the trigger. That's, the, that's what we're going to do by writing the diary. And then we start to develop a new habit. So... If you need any help in either of those areas or you just want to have a chat, pop a, thing in the co pop a comment under this and um, I'll set up a call with you. Thanks very much and have a great day. It is beautiful out here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.